Let's see, I think I'm going to be painting a little bit today and talking. Well, uh, it's raining outside. It's a nice, I think it's like 50 degrees, 59 degrees outside. And uh, I found this little, oh, this Barbara from Arkansas. And today I'm going to just paint a little bit and talk a little bit. And uh, I've been quite busy yesterday. I spent the whole day over at the doctor's hospital. And um, <laughs> it's so funny. They told me, they said, okay, you have an appointment at the uh, to get an MRI. I said, well, that's cool. You know, I've had those. I think I can handle that. Well, when I my sister drops me off, and I and uh, I get in there, they said, "No, you're supposed to be over at the imaging center." So they get a little guy in a car that runs around the hospital there, you know, helping people to their cars and stuff. And so I get on this little, uh, like a uh, golf cart, and. Uh, I can't get in it. I can't lift my legs to get it. And he tells me, um, ma'am, I can't touch it. Help you get in there. Because we're not allowed to do that. And I'm thinking, oh, now what am I going to do? And where I have to go is a couple of blocks away. And I I, can, I know I won't be able to make that journey um, with a cane. So about that... I th I was getting very frustrated with myself about getting the information wrong, so I uh, I was sitting there waiting. Now, what am I going to do? Because then the guy tells me that he can't take me across the high, the road over to where I need to be at the imaging center because he's not allowed to go across the road from the hospital. So I'm sitting there thinking, okay, do I call my sister? And I said, no, she's got an appointment herself. So anyway, to my rescue, the Camon Ranger, so to speak, the, this, uh, the policeman, uh, the security police guard guy came over there with his police car, and he said he could take me over there, but he couldn't help me in the car. So then I saw this guy walking by, and I asked him if he'd help me get in, you know, because the security guy can't help me in. It's against the rules. So, anyway, I get in, and we go, you know, up a couple of blocks, and I go in there to get my MRI, and, and I'm, you know, just sitting in there waiting, filling out all the papers. <laughs> And they call him my name. Well, I decided I'm going to talk to these people while I'm there. You know, it's a social hour for me. And I was crocheting. And finally the lady that I was talking to says, Is your name Barbara? And I said, Oh, yeah. And she said, Well, I think they've been calling you for a while. I said, Oh, okay, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. And so I put my crochet away, and the guy from the back who's coming to see me, he says, you're the second person I've seen today in the waiting room that's been either doing some kind of crafts. Well, he didn't know what I was, you know, what kind of crafts I was doing. I guess he didn't know what crocheting was. So we're heading back to the back. Well, you know, I move so slowly. And he was halfway down the hall and over around the corner before he realized I wasn't behind him. <laughs> Bless his heart. He probably had more people, more with speedy people come in there more regularly. But anyway, and he comes back and he looks around the corner and he says, oh, I thought maybe I had lost you. And I said, well, you couldn't have gone too far. And he, he laughed and he said, I'm really sorry, ma'am. You know how he wants to be nice. And he was nice. In fact, his name is DeMarco, which uh, suited him perfect. You know, he was just a cute guy. and uh, But anyway, he then I had to get ready for the MRI. And uh, he saw that I was having trouble walking. And I still had to get to the MRI. But anyway, I made it to the MRI. And I met the really nice guy in there. And uh, I think it, he said his name was Incognito. But I think it said Rick on there. But uh, 
But anyway, the MRI thing testing went fine, I guess. And when I came back after uh, having the MRI, DeMarco come with this huge wheelchair. I mean, it must have been for a 500-pound person. But, you know, I didn't mind at all. And I just set my hiney right down on that wheelchair and went out to the front there while they got my, you know, got my CD already. And in come uh, the driveway there was the knight in shining armor, which I call the guy that, in the security guy. And he, he's such a sweet guy. Uh, just very delightful, to tell you the truth. But, I mean, he was decked out. He looked like a policeman. He had so many belts and buckles and everything else all over. And very nice. And he was... And uh, so I made it all the way back over there to the hospital. And uh, I'm thinking, well, my sister, I don't know if she's going to be through or not. So anyway, I call her, and so she comes over to get me, and we went out to this place called Days for lunch, and we had a big old hamburger, and what, you know what's so funny about this place, I'd never been there before, is that they served french fries, you know, like, you go to Red Lobster, they serve biscuits, you know, while you're waiting, or something like that, you know, some restaurants, or bread and butter at Carino's. But anyway, at this place, you get French fries. And they're dripping good. You know what I mean by dripping good? They're the old-fashioned French fries. And <laughs> I bet they they sit down this little napkin on your table, and it's plaid, red, red and white, and they serve you your drink. And then this lady goes around with a bowl about this, you know, pretty good sized bowl, and she fills everybody's uh, little plaid napkin paper that's on the table, you know, it's just like laying the paper on the table, and everybody's eating fries, good fries, I must say, really good fries, sure beats, you know, the little skinny fries from Fast Hamburger Place. And so we we had a nice hamburger, and it was, oh, it was good. Oh, my gosh, it was good. And so we're getting ready to leave. Well, i got to gripe a little bit about this place because <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, the parking place for the handicap, where I have to have a ramp to get into the building, you know, get it round up on that. You have to go all about three-quarters away around the building where the ramp is. But there's no door there. No, 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 no. You gotta walk all the way in front of the building to go in. And I'm going, why put a handicap that far away? I mean, you know, I mean, I, I do have to have the ramp, and I would have walked over there, but it was just funny that that would be placed that way. I guess some kind of building code, who knows. But anyway, when we leave, we walk in around the building there. Well, ahead of us is David, you know, the guy that owns the place. And he's catering a meal, so he's pushing his cart full of food and french fries and whatever. And he loads it in this vehicle, truck or something. And he comes back. Well, <laughs> he gets trapped between us and getting back to the ramp so he can get back in the restaurant. And so he comes over and he talks to us, okay? And the first thing he says, he's being nice, you know, because he, he can't move without Marsha moving her car. And he says, nice car. And my sister says, yes, I've had a wreck, and this is a loner car. And he, and so he starts talking about things, and, and she says, yeah, it's a loner car, but... Uh, and uh, but I'm selling with the insurance. Haven't got them sold yet. Well, he suggests this David guy that she ought to talk to that real estate insurance people. You know, don't take this first offer because you know they're negotiating, which I'd never heard of before. But anyway, uh, she, he was taking the information. So we run over after talking to David. We went over and, of course, let him get by so he can get back into his business. But uh, 
one of the things that uh, we were to do next was to go look at some cars because she has to have a car because she's got to turn in that rental car. You know, the insurance pays so much and you pay so much other. Well, anyway, so she's been getting next to uh, having, you know, getting the car, finding a car because they totaled it. And they gave her eleven thousand dollars. Well, you can't replace the car she had for that, you know. And so we're looking around at these cars that are twenty thousand. You know, that's and those are cheap cars. <laughs> but she wanted a Hyundai because that's what she likes. That Honda, Hi Hyundai, no Hyundai, I think is what it's called. But she did drive one that was, uh, but it was too small. And she still wanted to get one like she had because she really liked it. And it was paid for. So she didn't want any payments. Well, I don't blame her at all. So I don't know what, I think she's just going to accept what they take. But but she still got to find her a car. And uh, so then she takes me back to the hospital because I've got to meet with a cardiologist about my stress test. Because, you know, today was supposed to be the day I was supposed to be operated, I mean, you know, have that procedure done in Conway by that doctor in Fayetteville. Well, it was canceled because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pass the stress test. <laughs> so I had told, you know, I told my son, uh, I may have told you this already. I don't know. But anyway, he didn't have to get up early in the morning, and I was glad of that. But anyway, so now I've got to go through a cath. But tomorrow I'm meeting uh, Dr. Crisp, and he's the neurosurgeon. So if it, anything he can do, uh, and if he can't, well, that I'm done. I mean, I'm just going to be a cripple and live with it and just, you know, accept what it is and keep going and talking on YouTube and painting silly little things, but anyway, I'm using um, uh, what is this called? It's, uh, the color of it is, uh, aqua. Aqua. I like Joe Sonia's, uh, paint tubes. Uh, they go a long, long, long way. Plus, I'd put some gesso on here first, and what that does is it seals it so the actual little wood things here doesn't absorb as much paint. But, and I'm just playing. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. And, uh, but anyway. That's about my adventure for yesterday. And today I have done nothing. I've been tired and sore, I think, from walking. <laughs> my body's not moving. Used to moving that much. But we did have a really good day, all in all, and uh, which is a good thing. And somebody's honking their horn out from my front of my house here. I don't know who that could be. Oh, maybe he's honking at somebody. He's walking by. I locked, I closed all my windows, so. Uh, but I wanted to tell you about these new, these new uh, cinnamon rolls, and they're called Pillsbury's got them. You know, one of those tubes that you. Pop it open, you make cinnamon rolls. Well, they're called cho hot chocolate rolls. I think it's hot cocoa rolls. And it's all full of chocolate. And you put marsh melted marshmallow icing after you get them out of the oven. So they look like cinnamon rolls, but they're chocolate uh, inside where the cinnamon is. And then it's got that marshmallow on top. And then I read another thing that said... The M&M's is coming up with the hot cocoa M&M's for the inside. The inside is uh, marshmallows. So if you like chocolate, you might want to try those out because I think they'll be a trip for that. But my dogs are going crazy because Amazon's here. I ordered, um, I ordered me some yarn. I hadn't had a chance to get a ride over to Walmart or anywhere. Uh, so I ordered on Amazon. That works out real good for me in more cases than, and more things than one because I, I was out quite a bit yesterday and that was enough for me. 
But uh, anyway, I don't have much to say today, except that it's rainy and dull, and I think I'm going to paint. And you're welcome to watch me paint. And uh, I don't know what color I'm going to use next. I think I'm going to use, you know, everybody uses yellow on things. I wonder if yellow would be pretty with that. You think so? I think I'll try yellow on it. Here. I don't want to go too long because I know you don't want to sit here and watch and listen to me talk here and paint. Of course, I enjoy painting, so. But I'm going to paint this yellow. Yellow, 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 yellow. I'm going to make it really sort of. I'm going to use many colors. I like to paint lots of color. I like to paint with lots of color. And different colors. Except it's funny because right now I'm crocheting a white afghan. Which is unusual for me. Usually I like to put color of some kind. But I did get the the uh, baby blanket in the mail yesterday to Texas. And it didn't cost as much as I thought it was going to cost. Uh, but I'm not, you know, I thought it would cost a lot more, but... And they said they'd have it tomorrow, the postman said. But when I went to the post office, evidently the guy who's in there is like a celebrity. Everybody's talking about, you know, hey, Ralph, hey, this, hey, that, you know, like old home week. You would have thought I was in the little town of Williford, everybody knowing everybody at that time of day. But evidently he was just filling in. But, uh, and he used to be there, and everybody remembered him. Isn't that neat to be remembered in a good way like that? I just thought it was why neat. But there was a paid lady in, a, in there, and she was wrapping up wine for Christmas presents or customers or something, and she was just talking. She was a hoot. You had that charismatic kind of personality that makes you want warm and fuzzy inside, you know, makes you feel like you're special, even though she didn't know who you are. <laughs> but... Uh, but anyway, um, talked to my sister, and sounds like uh, my niece is doing very well, and and that's good. My son's going to be out of town for w the w first week in December, and uh, he's got to go. He goes to Lower Orlando because boats, you know. He has lots of things. He he, he uh, has that H two water, no, H2O boats in uh, town here. There. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I like that. I need a bigger brush, so I'm playing with this little old tiny brush, and I use that to make picture, you know, make little things, because I'm hoping to put a little cat down here at the bottom, and I'm going to put a bird house, I mean, a bird, you know, hole here for the little birdie and then I'm going to plant little vines and little yellow flowers and white to match the yellow here and uh, then it's got like little see how these little uh, jingly things are isn't that going to be cute even if you're in a house and the heater blows it'd be enchanting ringing noise I still haven't got that aisle finished. I got it all glazed, but I can't find a drill bit to dry, drill in the feet so I can put those uh, beads on them that I wanted to put. So, as you can see on this side, I've already etched in basically the kind of picture I'm going to put in there. Can you see? I don't know if your light's good or not. This may be a really boring video. I'll look at it, and if it is too bad, I won't upload it. Um... But anyway, I'm having trouble. I, I mean, not trouble. I'm having fun talking and uh, uh, painting. Because I haven't seen anyone today. Nobody's been by. Not even Meals on Wheels, because they thought I was going to ha be having that procedure today. And, of course, you know, that didn't happen. Because I didn't pass the stress test. So, and it's, so that's the way it is. I did get a, I saw on Facebook today that one of my friend's mothers died, 
in Oklahoma. I've got to put together a card to send her. Bless her heart. You're not losing your mom.